so uh, we all know the importance of data science and artificial intelligence actually data science is a subtitle or sub part of artificial intelligence as well as machine learning so uh, we all know uh, every in every day in news we can see lots of data or data science news every day so these are some clippings of belongs to that uh, this slide shows the data science in in our everyday life so uh, when you are using your whatsapp you are texting a message to someone or you are delivering a communication communication between two persons there are of lot of data is producing so this data is produced uh, is saved or documented in some way the, that kind of data can be referred as the data science so these are some uh, slides that are related to our everyday life so uh, this is the data science vocabulary these are the main uh, terms or documents that are using our data science area in the industry these are some kind of words predictive analysis programming organization consumer data mining visualization big data uh, privacy then uh, preservation these are the some vocabulary terms that are related to data science so my question is regarding that what is data science so data science in simply we can say that it is also known as data driven science so it is very very important and the hot topic in the research area i am also doing my research in data science actually it is not in data science it's a, a privacy area that is it's a subtitle of data science so it is an interdisciplinary sometimes it is referred to as a multidisciplinary area which is data science it has some kind of scientific methods processes algorithms and systems to what to extract knowledge we have plenty of uh, information or data with within in our data or computer so we can extract knowledge from that particular data which data is derived from the uh, it's a part of data mining it is as some sometimes it's referred as structured data or unstructured data so it is sometime is uh, it is uh, similar to data mining so data science intends to analyze and understand actual phenomena with data so we are all familiar with the, with the data science team in other words the main aim or the ultimate aim of data science is to reveal the features about hidden structure which are complicated in the social or natural phenomena with the data from different point of view so just imagine that we have plenty of data uh, with respect to your college right uh, previous admissions and then uh, the strength of pca or mca or something like that the pre we are analyzing the previous data uh, according in accordance with our uh, available data in our college we are analyzing the data then we are going to predict how much students or how many students will come for admission this year so uh, these are the main things that are related to data science that is predictive analytics this is a fourth the paradigm of data science so data intensive science, scientific discovery that is the main important aim that has uh, referred by the thomas edison the he is a professor there in max planck institute so uh, i already mentioned that the data science is referred as interdisciplinary sometimes it is referred also as interdisciplinary because it is a combination of computer science we need mathematics and statistics for analysis uh, computer science is for programming and uh, we need huge amount of brain which is consist of domain knowledge or business knowledge which is combined together it is known as data science so this is these are the four pillars of data science the uh, first one is domain knowledge i already mentioned that domain knowledge is uh, the main important thing which is interdisciplinary the second second thing is max and statistics we need uh, lots of equations calculus uh, the linear algebra algebra for the uh, programming and we need excel in uh, we need the knowledge in excel also so then the the fourth third pillar is 
computer science. So uh, we are all familiar with that. We need programming language or understanding of programming language, databases, how to uh, use the database, uh, how to store and retrieve data from the database. So the fourth one is communication and visualization. The output of the data science is comprised of visualization. So uh, if I am telling a story to you without any video, so we, you can imagine that what, what are the scene, scenes that are going inside of my story. So that kind of visualization is needed in the data science. So uh, the next slide is belongs to why or what it is important. The data science is very important. You need to solve a real problem using data. So these are the applications. Uh, actually, data science has plenty of applications. Among them, uh, some of the applications I am mentioning here. First one is predictive analytics. I already mentioned that uh, our college has plenty of admissions every year, right? So in BCA department, uh, in the previous years, which means in 2022, 50 admissions. And to 2021, we have we have 20, 51 admissions. And in 20, we have 52 admissions. So uh, we are uh, collecting those data and analysis the, uh, that particular data. We are predicting the in this year coming year, which is in 2024, we, uh, we can have around 50 to 55 students for BCA. So that kind of analytics of us belongs to predictive analytics. Then uh, the second one is machine learning. That's a, a familiar term to the computer science students. Uh, it is also a subtitle or sub part of the artificial intelligence. So machine learning is very, very important. I'm not mentioning here. So machine learning is a familiar term. Then third term is the data visualization. So uh, in the four pillars, the, the, that slide of four pillars, I have mentioned that data visualization so uh, in every way, everyday life, uh, we can we need some visualization techniques in our computer or as well as in our mind. Both working together, making magics. So that is data visualization. Then uh, next one is recommendation systems. Uh, the terms refers the recommendation, which means if you are searching a song in YouTube, uh, you are searching for a song in Tamil song in uh, YouTube. You are playing that particular song. You can see some of recommended videos or songs below that of video. So uh, that is belongs to or the same category. You can play after this video, right? Then uh, that kind of systems are uh, refers to the recommendation systems that are very familiar with that. And at the same time, you are purchasing a product from the online, which is Flipkart or Amazon from something like that. You are purchasing a product from Amazon. So you can have some recommendations, right? This kind of recommendation systems comes under data science. These are the applications of data science. The next one is fraud detection. I will explain in the uh, next slide. The next one is sentiment analysis. So it is a, a good research area. My colleague is also doing his research in the sentimental analysis, which is like uh, you are using your WhatsApp. Uh, you are have some emotional feelings. Uh, it's just imagine that if you are, you are you are very desperate at time, you are you are messaging like uh, uh, smileys, like sad smileys. If you are in love, you are using love smileys, right? This kind of uh, that from that smiley, we can understand that. He or she may be in good mood, or we he or she may be in sad mood, right? Or he or she may be in happy mood. So this kind of analysis is belongs to sentiment analysis. The next one is decision making. So it is uh, used in healthcare, finance, marketing, and other technologies also. Decision making is very very important using the uh, information of data science. Uh, which is like uh, our organization is running well. We need uh, to implement or manufacture new product in the industry. So uh, according to the uh, customer's needs, right? 
uh, we are producing or manufacturing a new product in our company according with the customer needs so uh, we have lots of studies on that they are, at last we have manufactured a product and into the industry so it is a decision making uh, that kind of decision making is comes under data science then we can consider is a, it is a, as a unifier it uh, consists data science con, uh, consists of machine learning statistical learning then domain expert is very important then we already mentioned that visualization mathematical optimization mathematical as well as, well as statistical so there is important social science law data management on some names it is referred as data mining and humanities so it is a unified technology uh, data science is a trending technology for the upcoming researchers you are or some uh, some days to the bca students some someone are uh, in mca or msc computer science students so i know that so as uh, after that we uh, there will be plenty of area or plenty of uh, research scopes for the upcoming research student uh, in a phd or in the main research also so these are the unifiers so uh, big data another thing is big data we are very familiar with that the big data is like uh, crude oil right uh, it is like refining crude oil you, we know all we all know that how to uh, refining crude oil right so it is like uh, uh, lots of data are available in that area we are uh, refining some kind of data which is informated data or useful data from that big uh, data that big data also is known as crude oil so uh, then the process is just imagine that the next process is big data is about extracting crude oil then transporting it in mega tankers then i in transferring or sinking it through the pipeline and it is storing in massive silos just imagine that the process of big data first you imagine how to refine crude oil and it is transferring and it is how to save that crude oil that is the same thing that is happening in big data mining so uh, there is a day artificial we are uh, coming to the artificial intelligence so uh, i already mentioned that data science and machine learning those are the subtitles of artificial intelligence so uh, machine learning produces predictions we all know machine learning is very very important i already mentioned that in the application session there is a fraud detection so these are the patterns binary codes right among that pattern we can uh, understand or realize that where is the fraud data is available uh, with the help of data science which is uh, with the help of many technologies i am using this kind of technology for my research i am doing my research in uh, privacy in, which is in spatial temporal data we are using a human traveling from one place to another we are uh, planning to draw his trajectory according with the space with respect to time these are the some applications so uh, we have plenty of data in the digital format if there is a fraud data in the in our main data so it will uh, it will cause many damages to your data we need to use this data in the future right so early detection is important it is very very important uh, how to detect that kind of fraud data that is uh, important which is used by the help of uh, many technologies if we are are uh, realizing or detecting the fraud data after uh, many time it will cause uh, so many uh, pattern blows to the our data we need a real time analytics also these are the recommendation systems for uh, this i have already mentioned that youtube recommendation then amazon recommendation for a uh, product purchasing so these are the recommendation systems are also there so these are the main important points <clears throat> so in the medical science we can uh, data science in the healthcare area we can we can have plenty of applications using by the help of data science 
so my friend mr sijo thomas he is also a, my colleague he is also doing his research in healthcare data uh, which is like it is very very applicable and uh, he has patent also because uh, he is uh, realizing some uh, cells from the x ray uh, which is which cause uh, cancer cells I, i don't know much about that he, he is doing some that kind of research in in his phd so uh, he also got the patent data from the uh, government of kerala so he is uh, doing his research in healthcare so healthcare we have plenty of applications that are belongs to data science that are some of them i'm mentioning here uh, we got shareable records are there improved monitoring by the use of uh, data science automated lab work is there then the standardized image recognition is there i have already mentioned that mr sijo somas he is doing his research in standardized image recognition then drug interaction detection we all know that then communication assistance these are the some applications that belongs to healthcare so uh, other application is we can have uh, some smart cities right uh, uh, it is not well defined generally it is that they refer to ict technologies so some smart uh, cities is referred to we can have uh, free data available right uh, this kind of data may damage to the uh, main data so someone uh, can have the opportunity to misuse those those kind of data so uh, one application which is known as money ball actually it is known as money ball is baseball so it's a uh, it's a real story which uh, can how how to build a baseball team on a very low budget by rely on the only on data so uh, on the basis of sub, uh, cyber metrics it is a statistical analysis of baseball data to objectively evaluate its performance so uh, this team uh, has joined in 2022 on a very low team salary low budget 40 million other teams has 120 million so it's a real time story it is a holistic approach it, uh, these are the, uh, the architecture of the uh, data science it has and all i have already mentioned that data security and privacy i am doing my research in data security and privacy in spatial temporal trajectory so uh, data data acquisition to data preservation these are the steps that are using in between these two uh, modes first one is making data trustable and usable that is very 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 important then management of data how to manage that particular data then uh, among the data we are using some kind of modeling and analysis at last we are we are uh, giving the output like the visualization these are the uh, core holistic approach of data visualization these are the uh, some core issues uh, that are related to data science these are four areas we are already mentioned here these are the four areas so for all we can uh, refer to as four steps uh, first one is making trustable and usable in the first step we are using how to make data trustable and usable first one is data cleaning we know the meaning of data cleaning how to clean the data so next one is sampling and uh, and the third one is data provenance so these are the three core steps that are that are used in the first area that is making data trustable the next one is uh, data lakes batch and uh, online access platform we are already we are already mentioned and we are very familiar with that term we are we can have plenty of data from the online and the third one is modeling the third step is modeling and analysis in in that area we can have models and methods for data lakes how to uh, model a data for the uh, for the uh, predicted output so that uh, there are plenty of methods or strategies or technologies for that someone is using in the, the uh, deep learning someone using by the help of machine learning someone is using the python uh, by the help of r programming or something like that uh, we all know that 
the data are uh, sometimes referred as structured data or unstructured data. So this kind of uh, data is identified by the uh, methods that are used in the machine learning. So then unsupervised clarification, classification and AI. So at last, the last step is before preservation, data visual. Okay, these are the core research issues that are faced by the field of data science. Uh, one is artificial intelligence. Uh, our data science is the subtitle of artificial intelligence. Oh, so we all know that what is mean by artificial intelligence. So just imagine that a uh, machine can act like a human, exactly like a human or something like uh, like human. We can say that it's a, the, by the help of artificial intelligence, which is the term artificial. So artificially making a machine into the act. So most of the examples, so we can uh, have some uh, self-playing, chess playing computers, mm -hmm. self-driving cars. Uh, these are the, some uh, real-time examples that are we are using today. Uh, these are not heavily uh, rely on deep learning and natural language processing. One of my uh, colleagues, he he's also doing his research in natural language processing. So it's a hot topic today. These are the roles of AI. So uh, the, the roles are how, the first role is identifying knowledge gap. So identifying in research, in research area, identifying the research gap is the most important thing. Like that, identify knowledge gap, the first role. And the second role is developing crucial insights. And the second one, third one is instant feedbacks. And the fourth one is 24 into seven digital tutor. Then personalized learning creation of digital content, the most of the students uh, you, uh, they are using today by the help of uh, some technologies and uh, they are earning more money by the help of this kind of digital content creation, then appropriate content. These are the role, main roles of AI today. So some of the important innovations of AI, which is personalized learning. We all familiar with this game. So AI plat powered platforms can access learners progress uh, just imagine that some of the dmd universities are providing some courses like ugpg courses and, uh, and also diploma courses are by online which can be referred as personalized learning then the second one is adaptive learning so uh, adaptive learning is a, like it's a adapt, uh, system like can adjust learners progress and provide additional support or challenge as needed. Uh, adoption is like uh, we we can uh, we can find out the learner's progress by the help of uh, several methods and provide additional support if needed. So we we are familiar with that kind of terms. Then automated grading. If you are uh, uh, competition, if there is a competition, this competition by online. You are participating in that competition by online, something like Google form like that. Uh, then you are participating, you have passed for that the uh, choose competition. You can have a e-certificate, right? It is like automatic grading. It is by the settings arrangement, right? So then next one is learning analytics. So it can be used for to improve learning experience and inform instructional decisions. So uh, we have plenty of students that are online students. We are analyzing their results or their uh, learning progress. Then uh, we can uh, predict that the, most of the students are the upgrading students or uh, some of the students are average students. So uh, some of the students are below average students. We can have the analytics that is like learning analytics. Then next one is visual virtual instructors. So we are very familiar with that term. So we can we can have personalized instructors or feedback to the learners. We are very familiar with that. Then last one is translation. We are all familiar with that. I am a Malayali. You uh, someone uh, Tamil. So uh, the most common language is English. We can translate any language in the in any in the language from any language, right? From English to uh, Tamil, Tamil to Malayalam. 
so anyone can access the data around the world so uh, these are the roles of a in education so uh, i have already mentioned that we have personalized education is there so some of the universities some of the deemed universities even in the tamil nadu they are pro providing uh, online or that kind of degrees and uh, that are available there then produce smart contents uh, some of the students or uh, employees they are uh, making money by the help of creation of uh, contents so contribute to the task automation it is very familiar theme this is the process of automation of task so all uh, just imagine that in about our college uh, in 1990s all the data are processed by the using of the uh, textbook or uh, records right nowadays they are using some more application in our, in our computer so it is a task automation do tutoring is a very important thing uh, it's a very familiar thing so ensure access to education for students with special needs if you if a student needs special attention or special support from the tutor or the internet they can access any data and which uh, data mo along with the uh, efficient data so these are the uses of artificial intelligence in medical science i have already mentioned that in health care data my friend mr sijos thomas is also he doing his research in health care by identifying the cancer cell from the x ray so then uh, in the field of air transport we can use uh, artificial intelligence in the field of banking and financial institutions they are using artificial intelligence by the help of uh, uh, plenty of uh, technologies the field of gaming and entertainment we all familiar with that achieves unprecedented accuracy so it, it artificial data has the pretty accuracy is good so it is reliable and quick uh, then we can have uh, lots of arts to the product right if you are playing a song or a video in your, in your uh youtube so you can have uh, ads right you, you can skip after 5 second but it is the help of this by the using the help of artificial intelligence ai evaluates deep deep data so uh, these are the main uses of artificial intelligence in future in future by the help of artificial intelligence and the subtitle machine learning and data science we can have plenty of opportunities even for the students even for the researchers even for the employees everyone is applicable for the data science and the machine learning and also for the artificial intelligence in future our work is belongs to uh, robots right uh, our uh, we are doing our everyday work today by uh, come from home and uh, uh, teaching here then uh, going by to our home these kind of methods or this kind of uh, strategies can act by the help of uh, some technologies by the machine so so everyone can everyone can access the benefits of artificial intelligence so it is very much applicable for all industries okay that's all about my presentation thank you